Okay, so if you've seen the first tutorial, you'll know that this year um, you can register your op mode simply by uncommenting the disable feature in front of the op mode. This pretty much assumes that you've created your op mode in your team code folder where any changes you make won't get blown away. If for some reason you like the old manual registration method or if you'd just like to be able to selectively turn on and off some of the examples to play with them, there's another way you can uh, do registration. Once again, this is an option. Uh, it's uh, essentially legacy, but it works just fine. So if I go up here to my examples, and if I go down to concept register op modes, this is the new uh, example. And uh, as in all examples, we need to copy and paste this into your team code folder. So I'm going to right click, copy, come down to the team code folder, team code, right click, paste, and we're going to give it a name that is, uh, let's have a look, what about register my op modes, which is not strictly true, but it's close enough. All right, so what it's done is it's created, uh, I'm not going to, what it's done is it's created a new uh, class uh, in my team code folder. And the thing that's special about this class, it's not an op mode, it's just a standalone class, but it has one special attribute. There's a method in here, and it can be any method, has this um, annotation of op mode registrar. And what this is saying is it's saying that, hey, when you scan through all the classes in this uh, code, if you find any with a method that says that's, that has an annotation called op mode registrar, run it during the registration process. So whenever all the other op modes are being registered, anything in here will also run. And you'll notice in here that this is preloaded with commented out versions of all of the sample op modes. So all of these lines here, each line corresponds to one of the samples. Now, for example, if you're interested in doing some uh, image recognition and you say, well, you know, I want to check out that, that uh, Vuforia navigation sample, just come down here, delete the comments, and so now this line of code will run when this method is run, at which point you can just uh, build it and deploy it. Uh, anything you can do, you can do multiples in here. You can say, well, while I'm at it, let's also get some, uh, uh, some, some push bot thing. Let's get the teleop manual driving. Uh, let's let him be registered and available and uh, something else, perhaps the uh, light sensor. Why not? So I'm just going to uncomment those. And when I build those, these three op modes will show up on the driver station when the driver station attaches to the robot controller. So let's do that now. Play button, have a look down here. And launching, and uh, let me see, you can't see this, but I'm going to go over and have a look at my phone here. And see my op modes, and I have Vuforia navigation, I have Teleop POV, and I have Lego Light. So there you go.